This is Rebecca with Digital Thinker. In a previous video, we introduced Track by Asset Parts and Hexagon EAM. Please watch that video first if you have not already. In this video, we are going to walk through a scenario where we purchase and receive a Track by Asset Part. First, a decision will need to be made as to if the asset record will be associated to the part during PO creation or receive. This is determined by the asset association install parameter. In this environment, the association is made during PO creation. Let's take a look at a PO for track by asset parts. Here I have a purchase order where I want to purchase two of my track by asset parts. If I scroll down, you'll notice that the Track by Asset checkbox is automatically selected. Due to that install parameter, if I try to approve this PO, the system will prevent me from doing so because I must associate each part with an asset before the PO can be approved. Now, if that install parameter was set to receipt, I would be able to proceed with approving the PO. So what we need to do is to create the asset records for the track by asset part. I'm ordering a quantity of two, so I must have two assets created. I have already created one of my motors, so let's create the second one together. To maintain consistency and ease data entry, I am going to copy my existing record. Now, the important thing here is to ensure that the status of the asset record is set to awaiting purchase. This will allow us to associate it to the PO. Now, if I happen to have the relevant information, I can go ahead and capture that on my asset record upon creation of the asset. If need be, I can always update it upon receipt when I, when I have the physical track by asset part in my possession. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my track by asset part. Just a reminder, the status should be set to awaiting purchase. And then we have the part association detailed here below on the asset screen. Next, we need to make the associations between the two assets in the purchase order line. From the purchasing menu, navigate to assets for PO. On the screen, we can enter or select the purchase order line. This will populate the necessary information, allowing me to associate the assets in the asset details section. So here's the motor that was previously created. So I can go ahead and add that. And then we can go ahead and add motor 12. This is the asset we just created together. Just a reminder is you must create an asset for the total quantity of the track by asset parts being ordered. Because our order quantity is two, I have two assets associated with this PO line. So once the asset details are added, I can go ahead and save the assets for PO. Now, because I just made the associations between the assets and my purchase order line, I can now proceed with approving this PO. The next question to answer is how are track by asset parts that are awaiting purchase received in Hexagon EAM? Let's head over to the PO receipt screen. You will need to create a PO receipt as you would for any other parts PO. So I'm going to go ahead and enter our purchase order number. Once I've populated the necessary information, I'm just going to proceed with our typical steps. In this case, I'm going to navigate directly to the Active Lines tab. 
From the Actions dropdown, I am going to retrieve the parts. Now, because I am ordered or did order two, you will see that I have two lines to receive. Let's select the first line. You will see here that the asset ID is motor 12. Since I already made the association on the assets for PO screen, I do not need to designate the asset ID upon receipt. But if the asset association install parameter was set to R, then at this point in the process, I could make the association between the track by asset part and the asset ID. In this example, I'm just going to enter in the bin to receive the track by asset part into and click submit and do the same for the next line. As we discussed in the previous video with track by asset parts, since these parts are associated with assets, each transaction line for the part is tied to the specific ID. So once again, because we ordered two motors, we have two receipt lines to process. Next, I will go ahead and approve all part lines. Now that these lines have been processed, I can hop back over to the asset screen and see that the track by asset parts are now in store. So they were awaiting purchase. Now they've been purchased and are in my central storeroom in the bin we defined upon receipt. I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you found this useful. And please check back soon for more content. Thanks.